All right, so we don't want to abandon our friend from the bar, but we also don't necessarily know who we, who we're looking for here. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. I'm imagining... So, like, I'd be worried about the idea of, like, being able to recognize a tr the, uh, spies. And being able to tell them, like, yes or no as to whether or not there's a spy nearby. But maybe you just need to photograph a bunch of people nearby and he'll tell- be like, oh, that's him, that's the spy, dang it. Because he did say he recognized them all. I figure that's the hope, at least. Then I guess we'll just go through all of our logs and delete them all when I'm done with this one. What? Limp guy just blinked out of existence. This is the guy that talks about them a lot. Kind of wonder if it's like a you doth protest too much kind of situation where it's like, he's actually the one! He's the one that's a, the dude. Where did Limpy go? Oh, is that him down there? Limpy seems like a local character. That's not Limpy. Limpy, where have you gone? Oh my god. Oh, there he is. There we go. We'll see if we got him already or not. This is a somewhat different kind of quest. Snap a picture of any suspicious types around Fountain Spiral and bring them back to me. Apparently, we have not yet succeeded at that. <laughs> I guess it technically wasn't in a Fountain Spiral yet, so there's that. I mean, is he suspicious? He's a cop. <laughs> Oopsie. Hope you get your life out of the gutter. Somewhat harder person to take a picture of because they just... Oop. Oh. Let's see, is it delete gets rid of it? Yeah. Let's get rid of all the ones I took already. That aren't of those goobers. That I'm not supposed to say a certain thing about or they'll be evil. Or, I mean, I'll be, I'll be a, a bigot. I said random words together and they really didn't come together. My, my, my mind... Uh, voice in autopilot mode real fucks up. There's not a lot of people around here, actually. And half of them look like the same person over and over again. Hello. Any suspicious types around Fountain Spiral? Does this guy count? Because he is by Fountain Spiral, I guess. I'm, uh, just waiting for my wife. That seemed kind of suspicious, actually. 
I don't know if I trust this man. Ah, fuck. It might have been him. I feel like I'm not really necessarily missing anyone else. Just to be safe. Maybe this is a really suspicious save point. Ow, oh, shit. Keep trying to scroll wheel to zoom in, but scroll wheel to switch, which, hey, switch pictures. Let me look at that picture. Oh, uh, yeah. No doubt about it. Definite capital J. I ran into this sniffer about two months ago while pilfering one of Detta's warehouses. Not high on the food chain, but a definite dirty bird. Well done, man. I almost took this bloodhound straight to one of our safe houses. If he's patrolling the upper footpath, I'll make my escape through the lower walkway and take the grav path out to safety. Check back with... with, uh, Mardo Man when the coast is clear. See you around, Boots. Welcome to the Resistance. The looter band. Hello. I'm getting items. Equipped to use. It increases block ability by one level. This increases beat block, this increases speed. Hmm. There we go. I've been a bit behind on actually equipping my items, apparently. There's Zordos. But I haven't gotten much further in here yet, have I? No. I haven't gotten inside the actual building yet, if I can. It's Zordo's gun place. Look at that clone. Where do they get out trying to pass that duplicate office of Gordo? Zordo's a total fake. How could anyone mistake the, those gestures, that tone of voice, that posture for a real person, much less Gordo himself? Gordo thought he was the only one who could run this shop properly. So, when his chain grew, he had himself cloned. Now they're all over the galaxy, each sharing a fanatical devotion to his mother. Like she's the Queen Bee or something. It's like, on the one hand, I think clones have rights, you know? But on the other hand, I think all clones should die. <laughs> Jesus. See, if I waste Zordo, they'll just replace him with another clone. I've got to nail the real Gordo himself if I'm ever going to put an end to this madness. Look at that clone. Where do they get off trying to pass the duplicate off as Gordo? Hmm. I mean, if they're not vampires, killing the lead one doesn't make all the other ones go away. I imagine that even if you killed that one, it wouldn't really fit. Ooh. Once again, an item I can't reach. Don't step on my feet or I'll strangle you. Don't think I won't. I think the border is indicating that's through the translator. Not a big fan of uh, shoulder coverings. Yeah, he's basically just wearing like an apron. I'm gonna buy a really big gun. I'm gonna buy a really big gun, then I'm gonna kill everyone. Just you watch. What, you don't believe me? I hope you're there. I hope you're there when I snap. Jesus fucking Christ. Kill ya. Ha! <laughs> Not yet. Um... So how are you guys doing on background checks? And also, like, every other check? Hey, Leon soldier. Welcome to Zordo's Gun Palace. Are you looking to buy and sell? Yeah? Got a few things a bat. The wristbands of whacking. There must be wristbands to give you additional whacking. The looter band. Oh, that's what I got a minute ago. 
It increases my looter. <laughs> if I buy a wristband of whacking, it costs all of my money, so it's, I'm kind of encouraged not to do that right now. Mother sends her regards on young choice, young soldier. Success to, success to be to you. The duck killer. Huh. Goodbye, everyone. Weird gun people. Can you use these? I can't even point my mouse at it. It, it goes behind it. Right now, I'm winning fights pretty easily. And I've gained some levels, which makes it even easier. So spending 100% of my currency on one upgrade is probably not the call right now. Whoa. Did I just come back? Or we know I'm somewhere else now. Oh yeah, I haven't talked to the people around here as much. I'm uh uh I'm a cartographer. I make maps. Paper maps. The old fashioned kind. What I'm trying to do, it's crazy really, is map the surface of Anachronox. Nobody's sure how or why, but an Acronox is divided into four large shifting plates and dozens of subplates that are constantly rearranging themselves. At random intervals, these interlocking sections of planet separate and... You know all this, don't you? Forget I was talking. No, I'd rather not waste your time. Excuse me. Mix paper maps. Uh, you're gonna have to pull off some really crazy creative folding if you want to make a paper map of a place that keeps changing over time. Like, all the individual chunks are probably gonna stay about right, but collectively? That guy over there, he thinks he's a real big shot. He's always shooting his mouth off at every race, about every race he wins and every girl he, ba he bags. Dude? I'd rather know who's your You are. I know these tunnels and drainage systems like the back of my hand. I'm supposed to race him tomorrow night. His air traction isn't what he thinks it is. It'll take him... I'll take him right before the drain wash. He'll accelerate too much down Parsons straightway and won't be able to take the turn, smashing into the rock. Man, I'm gonna teach that jerk with the lesson of his life. Mmm, exciting. Man, that clown over there has challenged me to race tomorrow night. Sucker doesn't stand a chance. I almost feel sorry for the punk. I've souped my baby up to the butterfly belts. That's a Shea Green engine in there. No joke, man. My brother managed to lift one from Brabulin Chop Shop a few sectors down. Perplexing flywheels, 24 steering knuckles, banjo injection, the works. It's a riot. Whenever this conversation comes up, I always would jokingly say, you could just make shit up and I'd believe you, and in this case, they are. Fucking banjo injection. Don't touch the car. Can you talk to her? She's not a person. She's just sort of an add-on. <laughs> Hello. Public museum hours, Friday to Sunday, 8.30 to 5. The museum's open to contributors 22 hours a day. Would you like to enter? Yes? A reason not to? Okay, now it looks like a Halo level down here. Is there something I can help you with? Do you need to use the bathroom or something? Hello there. You look like you have a question. What's the big deal with Mistech? No one really knows what Mistech is exactly. Our best guess is ancient alien art. Your friend, Mr. Matravostros, was the last curator of this museum. He believes there's hidden power locked away inside them. Personally, I think they're just ugly antiques. People will collect just about anything these days. Anything else I can help you with? Nah? Just a moment. You look like a hooligan. You're just the type of man I need for a special job. Two jobs, actually. I'm going to make a diorama of Anachronox symbols next month for an exhibit. 
If you can take pictures of the six symbols scattered around the city, not including the one here in the museum, I'll give you 200 loonies. I've already got a picture of the one above the Anachronox Tours sign, so I'll give you credit for that one. In fact, the symbol over the tour sign was stolen from the museum just a few weeks ago. I'd turn to the Nox Guards for help, but they would laugh in my face. If you can retrieve it, I'll pay you 400 loonies. That's more than all the photographs combined. That's way better. Man, I, all right. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -do. So, photograph. Photograph and Necronox symbols. Uh, writing photograph red tiny people because I already forgot what they're called. Man, what other objectives have I lost track of? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to take physical notes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make a physical quest log for this game because there isn't one for side quests. That's fucking weird. Not unless I miss like the yeah, because these are just two different objectives, but neither of them are main. They're both main objectives. Unless I'm completely insane. Like these, they have, these tabs down here only affect information. And I can minimize this so that it features less information, so you can more clearly see what you're, what's going on. The expanded one just shows the different steps of each thing as it develops. But yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no quest log in this game for for side quests, so I have to write them down, or I'm never gonna get anything done. Hello. Probably haven't saved for a while. Dulia, Cortica system. Blah 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 blah. Cheesy Goko. Yeah, they're mostly just weird shitty lumps. So there's not a lot to, to get out of them visually. I hate museums. They're too, they're too quiet. They should close this place down. Nobody cares about this crap. I've learned to sleep standing up. Well, wow, that's impressive skill you got there. I don't think inspecting all of these one by one is going to get much out of us. Brother Hamaki. Mysterium technology, or Mistech, was discovered on the planet Hephaestus. It bubbled up from a deep lava well, now called the Mysterium Levant. Later, Mistech was found in the cores of other planets. It gets its title from the strange metal from which it was made, dubbed Mysterium by confounded scientists of the time. Is Mistek the technology of a long dead race? The greatest hoax ever? Or maybe a gift from the gods? Make a pilgrimage to, he to Hephaestus today. <laughs> he ended it with a slogan. Oh boy. This is an incredibly strangely shaped room. There's like the suggestion of ramps in a bunch of different directions, but we can't really go those ways. They really are just a bunch of whatever shapes. Eddie knows. Your thing, Electo. What is your face? Oh boy. That seems rough. Wow, yeah, this place seemed really big, like there's a lot of places to go. But it dead ends really quickly in every direction. And there's suggestions of other places, but I can't get them... I can't get there from here, at least. But that really does look like a playable area. So maybe I'll find a way. Oh, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Am I hearing strange music right now?
The only thing I love more than Miss Tech is playing piano. I love pounding them keys. When I'm rich, I'll own a piano made of Mysterium. I'll play every day. People will listen. Sorry, gotta get back to work. Excuse me? I said I gotta get back to work. Will the, um... How do you know Mysterium's any good for making a piano? What if it's just a terrible idea? Is this one broken or something? Is that Quack on the other side of the museum looking over here? He's trying to steal my research. South Anachronox is too dangerous for scientist types. My esteemed colleagues are too scared to do research here. I thought I'd be the lone, bold scientist who would brave danger in the name of science. It's what Einstein Awards are made of. Someone always has to steal my thunder. Sad little story of my life. To make matters worse, a local crime lord claimed ownership over the Mystic Tunnels. It's all been pillaged for its private collection. Is he looking over here? Very paranoid about it. What if the other guy just doesn't even know that they exist? I'm here investigating the origins of Anachronox. Our knowledge is woefully weak. Theories abound, mostly urban legends. The most popular story is that the original inhabitants of the planet were killed off by a horrible plague. The first settlers who discovered Anachronox over 80 years ago originated this particular myth. They found a deserted city planet, and data seemed to indicate an, an electric virus was responsible. So Anachronox became named after the virus, Electrophagus Anachronoxus. That's what Anachronox means. Poisoned from the past. But what are the hard facts? What do we know for sure? Anachronox is an artificial planet inside the empty core of Sender 1. It was constructed by an unknown alien race, but why did they abandon it? Why leave behind their buildings and technology in working order? Why is the city constantly rearranging itself? Nobody knows. Dr. Van Deek? Back in the day, it was a logical place for fugitives to hide. In fact, Anachronox was a hideout for felons and thieves long before the rest of the universe became aware of its existence. That criminal element has trickled the d down the decades and plagued us to this day. I often wonder if inhabiting a planet we know so little about is such a bright idea. <laughs> Tell that to the Asari. Maybe one day its builders will come back and claim their planet. Say, do you know why the researcher over there keeps giving me ugly looks? He has no idea. Yep. He's too complete the other guy's completely paranoid about this guy coming after him, but he doesn't even know he exists, basically. Once you play enough sci-fi games and read enough sci-fi books, you start to really see some patterns and some repeating ideas. Uh, so I'm looking at the Anachronox and I'm like, hmm. Played a few games that came out after this one that definitely t go into the same well. Greetings, greetings to you. I am Plip, the seller of From Cortica. I'm a scientist by trade, but science doesn't really foot the bills, so I've taken to selling items on the side. I store them in this alien glow stream. How can I help you? Sup? You only sell glowdent. Wow! What can I sell? Rebullion Bugu gems. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Don't tell my scientist friends. They would call me a whore. Wow. Wow! That terminology escalated quickly. They would call me a whore. <clears throat> Berulian Buku gems. They use as currency on a Berbula. Okay. I have one credit for an Akronach symbol. I got one picture to Langley. There were supposed to be six of those. Oh uh, yeah. I got a member card to this museum a while ago, didn't I? I think I, I think I did find that.
Save regularly, you never know when you're gonna get trapped in a weird combat dialogue with Captain Picard that doesn't work. <laughs> and then you just shit the bed, and the game don't work no more. And that's always a sad time. Time to get really paranoid about where the Anachronox symbols are. I've seen at least one of them, but other than that, I don't know. God, what if they're like on the roof or something? I don't remember if I've ever seen any tiny red dudes working on stuff though. There might be one in the bat in the clobberin zone. The battle location. But they train it doing a punchy. So I'm still waiting to get my drone guy working again, because there's a port down there for him. You weren't here before, were you? I am five by five by five. Show do you? What? A C you are not making beef. Don't I have a translator? Is he speaking in riddles, or does my translator not work on these guys? Uh, yes, by fives. Ah, for fives and friends, I do confess. Pentagonal prism. I am five by five by five. Show to you. What? Things upon the finding go long. Um. What just happened? Five-sided meditation prison for grumpos. Can only be used in a place of reverence and meditation. Oh. He's not even a grumpo, is he? Wait, you're grumpo, right. Yeah, when he went... That is what it said, right? Yeah. I was thinking of that one race that I had needed a translator for, but no, Grumpos is the name of my companion. So I guess he can go meditate somewhere? And he for some reason got it from that? So there's a few little different weird things around here, but none of them are those little red dudes. Oh, hey. Hit me. No. Come on, hit me. No. What are you afraid of? Hit me. No. Come on. Don't be a little untranslatable. Hit me. I'm not gonna hit you. Hit me. No. <laughs> he just keeps asking him to hit him. You come back here to check in on what people are up to and what they've been saying this whole time that you couldn't translate them and the, and the answers are just as- they're just the same range that everyone else has, really. These are Kassanox. No, you can't go that way. This is just the other way through the area. Alright, well, good reminder. Yeah, there's, no, there's not a ton going on around here. The Overlook. I half expect them to then turn around and tell me, now photograph all of the places uh, where it says Eddie Knows. For, for the Eddie Knows Graffiti uh, Removal Service or something. Yeah, there's one of them. So delete, 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 because we're done with this quest now. 
So I can get rid of these weird photos of random people that I've taken. Choop. Pink. I'm helpful. That's the primary one I've seen so far. Please keep the area clear. The district of South Africa is not liable for injury or death resulting from plate transition. Any more of those guys I can now understand? Yep. Comps is the way to go, man. They give you free kiss, you know? You don't really need to, to place bets, just mooch off the hosts. Why bother playing if the spread's gratis, right? I hear Black Maria's playing tonight. There's always an event. And against Detta to top it off. Man, that's a game I'd like to see. But it's closed door. Platform and tours. There's a lot of these ant holes, which is weird because, like, a lot of them, this, some of these are on grates. There's not a lot of opportunity for the them to come out of a hole, really. Like, where's the dirt even coming from, let alone what's the point of having an ant hole when it's just a grate anyway? You can just come up through it. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let's review our real objectives again. So we're looking for a guy so we can find Eddie. His last place of residence was 628 Barton Arms. In the upper levels of the tenements. We need, to, we need to get to the tenements. I was kind of following up on, like, just the various people I knew I could talk to and some side quests here and there. Uh, I'll have to try to review my footage from earlier just to review, like, who that guy said to talk to when the coast was clear. Because I don't... It's not, that's not easy to keep track of. Platform area. I helped that guy find the spies, but then he said to talk to somebody when the coast was clear. And that's unfortunately not included in my tutorials. I mean, my, uh, my quest log. I'm not super sure where to look for that. Just let's focus on tenements for now. Hello. Alright, well that's two of them. I already got credit for one of them, so... That should mean that there's like three to go. Now we're in the tenements. Goes to the upper area, so probably don't go down the elevator. Oh hey, another one of these guys. What are you still doing here? Didn't I warn you to beat it? What are you gonna do? Do you strike me? Skrin Babulin is more durable than everything you can arrange on it. Your blows will not hurt me. That and w your blows will not hurt me. That and you know it knows. That is why you won't me strike if stranger watches. Then how can I run? Then how can I run you into the station and hook you up to the old Suponic comb? Su Ponic Combine? Oh no, not the tickle machine. Is it a real threat or not? Like he, he so like he, he's he's betting on the idea that he won't get hit he won't get hit in front of me. And they have super armor anyway, so they probably mostly embarrass themselves if they tried to hit me in front of the in front of uh, hit them in front of people like me. What's happening? Because I found the right place. Okay, there's the place. Yep. Don't follow him from too far a distance and lose him. But don't stick too close and get caught either. I already gave that time minder a quick pet for good luck as we passed it, so we're ready to go. Don't let me down. This is what I do best, Pops. Stay off my back Morning. and I'll handle this lightly and you'll like Quiet! C, D, E, and F will commence in 15 seconds. Please keep the area clear. The district of South Anachronox is not liable for injury or death resulting from plate transition. Stand by. Sneaky, sneaky. They'll never find me. 
with the power of third-person cameras, I can cheat at following him. Oh, I think it's, it's probably like a really... Yep. Oh yeah, no, this is a... Uh, this is actually a really... primitive stealth system. It's just radius-based. Get too close, I lose. Get too far away, I lose. It really is just what he said. Line of sight doesn't seem to matter. Usually I hug corners and I use the trick of the uh, third-person camera to see where he is without actually exposing myself. It's like cheating! Yay! Nope. Oh. <laughs> Startling. Well, how's your day, sir? Is it a coincidence that that, goes, that, that guy's walking with him? Looks like it. They just walked past him. He just wants to buy some fruit. We're spying on a guy that just wants to buy fruit. Maybe we're the assholes. Elevator is busy, dumbass. I know! I'm coming. You're too far away. I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for an elevator. I'd be too close if I took it with him. Is he going into the casino? I feel like we've set that up as a location that we're going to want to go into at some point, but don't have access to now. No? He's still going. Just talk to the red guy for a bit. Hello, giant dinosaur man. Did you get lost from Turok Rage Wars or something? Get fall your like fall into this game on accident. They're going into rooms I can't go into. I'm jealous. I don't think, I don't know if I've talked to that guy before. I think he might be like a scripted visual that just kind of wanders in and goes through the door and then and vanishes from existence because he goes into places I can't go into. Just kind of making everything feel more lived in. The atmosphere is really solid for such a, an old 3D game. He's doing the spooky thing where he walks on walls. Ooh, the tours area. I've never been here yet. I found more little dudes. So now I photographed five of them out of eight. Assuming the three in front of that guy counted. Man, if I was actually stealthing, I would not be doing a great job right now. Everyone's almost certainly... that he would see me so easily a lot of this time. Maybe it's a, tr a perk of the particular race he is. Now I'm too close, apparently. Even though I'm through a wall. Reminds me of some of those older games. Just thinking of like the weird old primitive systems. Like I, I think of like some of the old games where like your flashlight would just make so that like like how this mouse is here. Like it would just make that air wherever I put my mouse, that part of the wall would be lit up like by a ball of light. Oh shit. As opposed to like a light that you see that comes out of your body. It, it would be like just a light that exists where your mouse, where you're pointing, and that's it. When? Tuesday.
I use Eddie to acquire sensitive information. My clients pay big bucks to find out if, say, their wife's cheating on them or if their business partner's taking them for a ride, but Eddie's more discreet than a private dick, see, because he just happens to know things, you know? And the fact that I charge a personal go-between fee ain't nobody but nobody's business, so give me the briefcase back. Not until you tell us where to find Eddie, you skunk. Come on, you ain't gonna be that way. He lives in the junkyard. That stinkhole? Ask him whatever you want while you're there. It's no big deal. He's a pretty nice guy. Just make sure you take him something chewy. Chewy? Yeah, and stinky. Chewing on stuff helps him concentrate. He can be a little, um, uh, unfocused sometimes. That's good. That's real good. Okay, well, we're gonna let you walk. But you watch who you're messing with next time. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever, man. Bring him something chewy and smelly. He needs something chewy to chew on, or he'll lose concentration. Is he gonna be like a dog or something? I found a centernet search for some keywords stinky and chewy, and it turned up an article on a poor guy who lost half his foot in an industrial accident. Quote, They won't give me no workman's comp, so I've, so I've been out of work. Ain't even got a change of clothes. The sock on my infected foot is all stinky and chewy from the pus. Why would you describe it as chewy, uh? It says he spends the day limping around the tunnels near Fountain Spiral, begging for money. Have fun! Oh! I know- I know Limpy. I talked to him. He has a whole story and everything about his mom- his, uh, his wife leaving him and everything. Uh... I'm- I'm sorry, am I gonna take his foot? Bert Cranes. I'm a writer, sorry, journalist, for Anox Headline Edition. We were gonna air an expose on the rise of- the rise to power of data, but someone at Centernet pulled the plug on the segment. The intro went something like, From street thug to corporate power player, Vendelin Detta made his fortune from a bloody cocktail of blackmail, extortion, and violence. Do you think it's all too inflammatory? Someday, someone will be allowed to tell the real story. If we're lucky, very dramatically and with a lot of adjectives. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Cause you stuffed your face, man. Look how fucking big these boots are. They can seat like 10 people. Holy crap. That tends to be how video game spaces do, though. See, have I been missing any environmental interactions? I gotta keep an eye out sometimes. Just because that those are, those are always a thing. And if, I'm not, if I don't pay enough attention, they might bite me in the ass. Is that the same guy that ever, there's always clones of everywhere? That is kind of spooky now. Do you smell that? Seriously, do you smell that? Berbulin food is the nastiest, stinkiest excuse for nourishment in the galaxy. Why are you here then? That waitress better bring the bill before I blow bile. Oh, that. Seriously, yeah. That's, so it's the, uh... This is just the food that's like next to him? From in order for one of these guys, the he's a baboon, right? They forgot the goiter sauce. Oh no, not the goiter sauce. Can I have your stinky chewy, please? I would like your stinky chewy for science reasons. This that's the bathroom we were just interrogating him in, I guess. If she hasn't come out of there soon, I'll break down the door. Um... Hope everything's fine. But you can see the same clone back there that they were saying is cloned everywhere. In this case, I don't think I really have the chance to talk to him. No, they... they at first I thought she was just unhelpfully bringing up unrelated search results for whatever. And we were just gonna ignore her. But, um... <laughs> Then I remembered, oh god, she's talking about somebody I know about. Like, I've heard of that character. Am I really gonna go after his foot? Uh, mister? Is that man dead? Uh, mister? Um, what happened to that guy? Hey. 
Where do you go when you die? Hey, um, where do people come from? Um, do you like to eat food? Do you, do you like to play pooper? What's a bastard? Um, okay. Oh god, he has to pee so bad. Look at him. He's asking all the heavy questions to me. Beat the Nox guards committed the murder. Uh, bet the Nox guards committed the murder themselves. They're all bastards. Oh, what's a bastard? Can't click on him anymore. Yeah. Who's this guy? That's a neat looking character. Detective Rook. Wait a tick a minute. Is that you, Sly? Class almighty, I haven't seen you in what? Two? Three years? What are you doing slumming it in the bricks? Weren't you running your outfit out of Anox North? I guess you always did have a bad habit of thinking, sticking your nose down here, didn't you? I'm surprised Detta never did a number on you after all the trouble you gave him back in the day. Yeah, I've been working out of Cortica mostly. I'm down here heading the PAX investigation. Hey, don't wince at me, bub. I was already working this case on my own when Pax came along and offered, offered to foot the bill. You wouldn't have run screaming either. Job's a job, right? Hey Boots, you ever hear of Tetra? It's the biggest fad in the market these days. It's a kind of resonating stone that induces hallucinogenic dreams. Very illegal. I'm investigating a series of killings related to dealing, dealers of the drug. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Black market dealers aren't known for their long lifespans, and I'd attribute the killings to gangs if, it, if there were any major wars going on, except there ain't. Believe me, I've looked into it. These killings are link, linked to a single, slippery mystery man. Even the heads of the major Tetra cartels aren't safe from him. He's been cutting through their tightest security and making off with their rarest items. It's a sticky case, and the local heat isn't any help. In fact, Nox guards are even dumber than I remember. They made a mess of the crime scene before I got here. Listen, you give me a hand or something? something? Cupe, the victim, rents a room out of Building 5 in the tenements. Remember that dive where all the burnouts live? I'd like to check it out before the locals muddle up the evidence. But first I've got to wrap this up. Mind doing a number on the apartment? Give me a heads up if you find any clues? That would be a big help. Besides, you owe me after what I did for you in the Paget case. Don't think I forgot. Hmm. Let me guess it's not updated here. Wow. Okay. Uh, grab the stuff. I wrote down apartment five cube. So we got that name listed down. Really unhelpful lo uh, quest log in this game. It's unfortunate. Because there's like, there's like, seems like a big detailed quest with a bunch of known characters and stuff. Hurry to building five in the tenements and search Coop's apartment b for clues before, before the locals muddle up any useful evidence. I'll do that after I finish exploring the local area that I don't know about. Look at this little guy. Hello, I am Betsy. How may I help you? Can you elaborate on that? Are you sure? Does it please you to believe that? Please go on. You like to think so, do you not? Uh, do you change your PAL-18 to match your wardrobe, or do you change your wardrobe to match your PAL-18? That's the question. I've had old Betsy here for years and years and years. She's a limited edition sports model. Only 3,000 units were produced. You willing to fork over your PAL-18's battery for cash? Uh, surely you're joking. Do you know how hard these are to find in the bricks? Forget it. You are being a bit negative. Damn, Betsy. Just come straight at me, huh? Well, the sports model was not a custom as customizable as the regular PAL-18 line. Note her unique grape color scheme and translucent chassis slot. She also has a cigar sticking out of her mouth as best as I can see. Oh no, it's a little weird camera stick 
I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck to call that. We finally found a, a pal in the wild. I just need to like murder one of them and steal its battery. That quest really did dump me in the middle of a zone where every direction, including the one I came from, is not fully explored yet, so I gotta be careful. Don't pull me into your world. Damn. Do I look like I care? Holy shit. Severe. Do I look like I care? Don't pull me into your world. They... Are you all the same person? Whoa, are they all clones? <laughs> they all say the same thing. What do I gotta do to get some service around here? I need these crates moved pronto. You're breaking my balls here, kid. What the hell do you want from me? We're having problems with our luggage bots, sir. Otherwise, this would have been taken care of immediately. Am I expected to lower these crates by myself? I'm gonna break my back. Is that what you want? Tell me, kid, is that what you is that what you want? Of course not, sir. I'm trying to explain you the problem, but you're not listening. Because you're the problem. Damn. Am I going to have to call a lawyer? Is that it? I'll sue you straight to hell, kid. Straight to hell. Oh, eat Trotsky and die, you jerk. Whoa. Customer service is broken down. You're fucked. Did you hear what that kid said to me? What am I going to do now? I, don't know, I guess you can go fuck yourself. Ha! <laughs> that was cathartic. I don't have to take that crap. More, more or less, yeah. Uh, sometimes you do have to for your job, but boy, is it some dumb shit. I've seen such frustrating customer freakouts at like fast food places and retail places where I'm just like, I don't know why this is happening, but this person is not why the person this, that, that person is not the person for you to be mad at right now. I think this is all the same stuff as that we saw before. Yeah. Sender net? Oh, those aren't those aren't arrows that go anywhere. Oh, what about local? Local news. Nope, stabbings are still down. Blow the belt. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Ah. Clavis pickle. Look at these little bugs marching around, mindlessly going about their useless days. No, no thought about anything but their meaninglessness. Little lot. They're meaningless little lives. Hell, it makes me wonder if there's a future for any of us. They're hiding from something, all of them. And Akronox ain't a place you come to live, you get me? It's a place you come to hide. You're here because you had no choice. Hey, look. Why do you keep talking to me? You a jangler or something? Hey, we have a second person that gets suspicious. You talking to me? You talking to me, punk? He's got this whole smug thing where he thinks he's some, uh, he thinks he's so important, but everyone else around here is just like, man, wasting away their stupid little lives. He's got Tyler Durden syndrome, which like a lot of people watch those mo that movie and somehow come away with still th looking up to him and his stupid, dumb, nihilistic bullshit. There's only a scant few humanoid janitors left in the galaxy, and I'm proud to be one of them. Why? We've been replaced by bots, mostly, but you gotta wonder, how can someone that doesn't care about being dirty really keep anything clean? Fucking shower thoughts for you right there. Hey, I know. The tour is building like the back of my hand. Every crawl space and landing. Yup. From the gritty travel tubes below up to the shiny Anachronox symbol atop the sign above us. This, this baby's well and truly known by me. Hell, I know the tour... Oh. He just repeats. An Akronach symbol above us. Thank you, sir. That was very handy of you to say. I wonder if that was intentional. It probably was. Like, it's a character that hints at one of the locations for the other quest. I've got a decent number of Anachronox photos now. People around here do not like being talked to. Don't pull me into your world. Tour in Ah! Not till you got somewhere to go, Slick. Oh. 
She doesn't want us to go clicking on the tourist stuff until we actually go have a goal. You okay, buddy? Um, it's it's still a functioning save spot, I guess. It's just something makes you nervous about a save spot being able to move. <laughs> Whoa, cool giant whale thing. I swear there's some crazy old guy following me around. I think he wants to kill me. This crazy old guy. Oh, that one? He's pretty creepy. Hast seen the white whale? Oh no, it's Ahab. Ahab. Like a pig Latin version of Ahab. Captain Baja. Um, I guess I was right to think that he's like a whale or something. He's being hunted by space Ahab. That's a problem. Liver butt? <laughs> Hey, what do you think is better, sucrosa or fizz? I'm fizzy for fizz. I think sucrosa is better. Well, why don't you go fuck yourself? Sucrosa, it's more, it's the most. Uh, I think fizz is better. Oh, I see the game you play here. I see the brand of bullshit you peddle, child. You will not get away with this in the future. The scourge is coming. All these numbers confuse me something horrible. What I don't get is how they expect honest folks to, to understand all these damn fool numbers. I did not spend four years digging mines on Protein 4 to have some stupid sign with those funny numbers on it telling me what to do. Anyway, what's the net number coming after four? Shit. Oh no, he's a disaster. You're a disaster. Are you here to help me because I'm lost? Is that what we're doing? I actually can't click on that one. Where's that guy that was walking around here a second ago? Did he just leave? There he is. Mr. Alien! Looking for a place to crash? Then take my advice. Avoid Frank's flop house. That place is a dump. I've just had the worst night's sleep there last night. My tail is killing me. There was nowhere for me to fold it. I need to find a masseuse that does tails. I need to find a masseuse that does tails. Well, good luck with that, buddy. It sounds like a sad time for you. I always think about, like, he human beds, and then you have, like, all these fantasy races that have very different setups. Like, what? Like look at that tail. It sticks out, at, like, at an angle. And it's, like, part and it's an extension of your spine, so it's, like, it's... You gotta deal with it. Like how does he? How do you? How do you sleep? How do you? How do you handle that? I played a few characters like my uh, my my Kunari? Is that what was that the word for it? My Kunari in Dragon Age Inquisition had giant horns on his head, and I'm like, how do beds work for you? And I've been watching Doro Hidoro, which that is just a character with his head's covered in spikes. As a funny detail, that whenever he whenever he uh sits up from bed, his pillow is stuck to his head, because his head is stabbed into the pillow. Because his head's covered in spikes. His bed doesn't work so hot for him. This is a really complex environment. I'm hoping there's not, like, any important things just kind of hidden away here and there. You gotta be careful places like this. Hey, it's the symbol again. What are you doing up here, buddy? It's just another safe spot. I just keep seeing them in strange locations and I'm like, you wanna talk, buddy? You got a problem? You have a quest for me, buddy? No? Nope, just another variation of safe spot. In what seems to be a dead end? It's the same picture I took of, the, of it before, so we don't even need that either. Hmm. Well. This went nowhere. 